Open, the director Wolf Park Information Risk, PTY, the South African company that partnered with Digital Draws Limited in carrying out the research, gave the synopses of the report from the African View at both events in Lagos and Abuja. He defined cybersecurity and took participants through the evolution of cyber threats. So just as our amazing universe is, uh, is complex, it's, uh, it's massive and according to the experts, it's expanding, so the world of cyberspace is also becoming uh, incredibly complex and expanding at a, at a very, very rapid rate. So really we're seeing IP addresses being assigned to not only computers nowadays, but anything going forward from your fridge to your you know, to your TV is going to have an IP address. And I think even going forward, human beings which targeted point of sale devices in uh, our fast food retail outlets, uh, large amounts of credit and debit card details were skimmed and stolen. The banks lost a large amount of money because of it. And once again, it breaks it up and look at state attacks, predominantly, according to the reports, emanating from, from East Asia. We were approached in South Africa by one of the largest groups that invests our government's funds, where they look at buying organizations or a statement organization to now for the first time factor in information security and cyber capability in that organization as part of the actual uh, value valuation of that organization. And even to uh, insurance underwriting, for example, uh, where maybe two years ago we had none, now we've got three companies uh, AIG and a number of other companies that are offering insurance for against a cyber threat. So the cyber sphere is once again really expanding at a rapid rate. He summarized key issues in South Africa and also mentioned some of the initiatives being used to tackle cybercrime in South Africa. Some of these initiatives include National Awareness Portal, recently launched in South Africa animated awareness videos and cartoons, CyberShield community magazines, task force special interest groups, cybersecurity academy training, and information risk foundation program. We're seeing internationally, drilling down to, to South Africa and, uh, and Nigeria, we are um, really expanding on our, on our research capabilities, and we are very honored and privileged to have been um, received the funding from the British High Commission and in partnership with the Digital Jewels to have brought out the, the Nigerian barometer. I want to share with you what we have seen since we brought this out at the end of 2012 in our country. All right, and um, so what we found in our country, let me just quickly pull them all up. These were the key issues that we highlighted. Critical infrastructure management needs improving deep shortage of skills, especially technical skills. And we saw that across law enforcement, from going to report a crime to the police station, to the actual investigators, to the forensics teams uh, uh, conducting it. Prosecutors not having the right amount of IT or information security experience. No national awareness program. Weak fraud detection mechanisms. We have got a government cert, a security incident response center but we don't have one national. One is being built, it's been uh, built for the last two years now. So that is on, on the cards. The capability, and then adding a drop-down report and incident, South Africa, Nigeria, and the vision is to have a number of African countries there as well, where we can start having um, a collated view of who to speak to in the case of an incident. So that's point number one, the offer is out there. You come back to us if you want to partner with us in that regard. We have started a, a, a whole range of animated awareness videos and cartoons. I have, did have some to show you, but in the interest of time, um, maybe during the coffee break, I could show those that are, that are interested. Short, punchy, three minutes with cartoons, get the message out based on actual incidents. That's addressing the bigger community perspective. Are they doing you or doing far? The Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer, Digital Draws Limited, gave the synopsis of the report from the Nigerian View. She stated that the reason Digital Draws was involved in the research and pointed out that cybersecurity affects everyone and it needs to be dealt with. For some of you may be wondering why this work, why are we doing this? You know, 
And there was a quote that I stumbled on that I thought I probably captured it. It basically says that the good is secure for ourselves to be cautious and uncertain until it's secured for all of us and incorporated into our common life. And I think that is perhaps why the UK government is collaborating on this and why you know, all of us in this room. Because at the end of the day, cyber security is not one person's problem. If there is a breach, it affects all of us. Whether we know it, whether we like it or not, it affects all of us. Mrs. Odung Fai gave a summary of the findings of the report, which bordered on how relevant stakeholders describe the state of cybersecurity in Nigeria. The estimated cost of cybercrime in the various industries over the last two years. Top 3 Cybersecurity Breaches in Nigeria Sources of the Breaches Top 10 Internet Countries in Africa Top Cyber Vulnerabilities Key Ways of Detecting Cyber Threats And the Top Emerging Threats in Nigeria, amongst other findings. It's based on the findings of this report and outlined some kind of national security awareness program, especially focusing on cyber crime, and drive it, you know, from a concerted and aggressive point of view, it will make a difference. It will have to be stakeholder centric, so we will advise that the private sector is put on board and you know given a role to play. But clearly those two organizations, in my view, need to be at the forefront of this. So we wanted to know what the top cyber vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities is a fancy word for weakness. Okay, so what are the weaknesses from a cyber point of view that we experience in Nigeria? And there were a number. But I think topping that list was lack of awareness. The fact that people just didn't even know what risks that they were exposed to. So Craig gave us some examples about um, games. You know, you buy games and you load them on your iPad and you load them on your phone and you don't realize that some of those games are actually um, t sucking information from you and using them for other purposes. Or more practically, in the Nigerian sector, you know, we have cases where people were using key loggers to capture information in the banks. She also took participants through the relevant recommendations, which emphasized the importance of ensuring that there is a sync between technology, the process, and people, which could be hinged on training, education, and awareness. Given what we found, we probably emphasize technology over the other two wheels, which are process and people. And given where we are in Nigeria today, we actually think that the people dimension is our greatest challenge. There needs to be some kind of training, education, and awareness um, campaign going on just to get people more aware. The report unveiling at the Abuja event was done by Andrew Pocock. British High Commissioner Adedoyin Odunfa, MD CEO Digital Draws Limited, Craig Roseman, Director Wolfpack PTY Limited, Christabel Onyejekwe, the Executive Director NIBS, Musa Itopa Jima, the Head Payment Systems Policy and Oversight Division CBN, Gerald Ilukwe, the Managing Director Galaxy Backbone PLC, Moni Udo, the Director ICT Ministry of Communication Technology. Chris Oyemenam, the Director General, NIMSI. Join Craig and Joey. Please join the uh, unveiling. Uh, I think we should have uh, Andrew and uh, Chris as well. Mr. Oyemenam, please join. Okay, yeah, Muni is here. Please join. Uh, Mrs. Muni Udo representing the Honorable Minister of Communications <laughs> Technology. So we have all of the collaborators just me here we go ladies and gentlemen one two three four five thank you very much thank you while at the lagos event the unveiling was done by peter carter british deputy high commissioner adedoyin odunfa the md ceo Digital Draws Limited, David Isiawe, President, ESAN, Ifai Emiefiele, the Deputy General Manager, Access Bank, Musa Itopa Jima, the Head Payment Systems Policy and Oversight Division, CBN, Craig Roseman, Director, Wolf Park PTY Limited, Uzo Odonukwe, Information and Branding Director, Isaka, Lagos Chapter. 
Humphrey Okorie, President, IIA, Nigeria. I hereby declare this report open. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Paparazzi, for your collaboration. So, <laughs> all right, thank you. So what we're going to have then is please... Uh a few associations gave goodwill remarks while commending the efforts of Digital Dwells Limited. They include ISACA, Information Systems Audit and Control Association, represented by Mr. Uzo Odunukre at both I events. I will give this member presentation to congratulate Digital Dwells. In the course of doing this research, one of the comments I made is conducting a research in Nigeria is a difficult task. People don't respond despite the, um, the information. Uh, this effort and want associate with them. Isaka and Nigeria also want to partner with them in further researches. The IIA, Institute of Internal Auditors of Nigeria, represented by Mr. Humphrey Okore at both events. I'm happy to be here today and I can tell you that uh, Digital 12 has been doing so much in the area of information security. And incidentally also they have partnered with the Institute of Internal Auditors. I want to thank <coughs> all the people that effectively collaborated to get this work done. Digital 12, both Park and the British High Commission this is an excellent work. On behalf of the Institute of Internal Auditors in Nigeria, I said thank you. ESAN, Information System Security Association of Nigeria, represented by Obasim Wambreze in Abuja and represented by the President of the Association, Mr. David Isiawe, at the Lagos event. Yeah, as the legal advisor for the Information Security Society of Africa, Nigeria chapter. And um, between uh, Wolf Park and District Jewels, there are our kindred spirits. We've been working with them for long and collaborating on this kind of projects. And we are really proud to identify with them with this one, the first, and then um, the quantum leap forward. Because it is important for us to know exactly where we are how much rot there is. To ensure that there is massive awareness and sensitization at all levels. Because, you know, like I mentioned earlier, no need to repeat it, we, we, are, we are doing something, you know, we're taking action here and there, but it's not going down. It's not permeating the entire society. And so, we still have a lot of casualties, needless casualties in the system in Nigeria. So our goal is to see how that can be cut off by, you know, one of the presenters, they said that the hackers hack human beings. So we want to go into the human beings.